So we found the right size belt, we're good there. And we've got the motor hood off. Uh, that's always the place you want to start, okay? It's real easy to get off on most treadmills. You just have some bolts that secure the hood down firmly in the front. Please don't over tighten those when you're reinstalling the motor hood because you will bust the plastic. So start on the front, motor hood's off. Um, we're, we're up to this point, we're using our standard Allen wrenches on this particular brand. Uh, a lot of the times they use both sizes. It's really hard to tell where the, uh, you know, where the middle is on these things. So just be prepared to have, you know, both standard and metric sizes uh, for your, for your treadmill. The, the Allens are real easy that if you just use one or the other, you will run the risk of rounding out the head. So please make sure that the Allens fit not only firmly, but they, they penetrate the hole to where they will grab a hold of, of the bolt you're trying to, to pull out. Because once you, once you round one of these off, you're in trouble. So what we're going to do first is move to the back of the machine after the motor hood. And here we're looking at the rear end cap. And we've already unscrewed two Allens on each side. This covers the rear roller. So this will come off. Precore actually has a secondary dust guard on here. This comes off as well. This snaps into place. All right. So we've got the end cap off. We've got access to our roller adjustment bolts. This is what controls the pitch of the rear roller, thereby controlling the tracking and tension of the walking belt. Uh, next, we've already taken out our side rail screws, one in the rear, one in the front. And these, on most treadmills like this one here, will slide off to the rear, okay? Those happen to be metal. Sometimes they're plastic. Sometimes they're stapled on, on a lot of the uh, Icon brand treadmills. And just slide it off. A little stubborn. Another thing on the if you do own an Icon machine, some of the older ones have a plastic end cap where the roller adjustment bolts actually pull tension and pull through the end cap, okay? So to get the end cap off, you will actually have to take out the roller adjustment bolts. So next what we're doing is we're taking out these roller adjustment bolts here, and now we've got the rear roller loose, okay? And as soon as we come back, we're going to look at getting the deck out of here. 